Welcome back Blueprint family to another banger. We've got something amazing for you to see today. As you can see in the title, today is gonna be my biggest ever collection. That's right, so I'm collecting from every single vending machine that we have. So that's gonna be nine vending machines in total. And we're gonna collect from a two week collection. So I haven't touched the coins in the coin box for two whole weeks. So today we're gonna go to each site and see exactly how much this vending machine business makes over two weeks coins only now as well as that i've also got these lovely new stickers printed these service stickers so these service stickers it just says on there if you're having any issues please contact us using this number and it's got a little service number there uh, for the customer to use and it's got our email address on there as well and we're going to be sticking these on each of the machines as we go around today and then also We've got this little sign here for one of our machines. It says important, please keep the machine away from the back wall. And as you're gonna see, or as you've probably already seen from last week's video, one of our machines broke down because of the generator. It was getting too hot. It was too close to the back wall. So it couldn't bring in all the cool air to keep it nice and cool inside. And it broke down. We did get it fixed. So if you haven't checked out that video, go and check it out the last video that we did and today we're sticking this note on there just so that the cleaners and the staff know not to push the machine right back to the wall because it will break down again and just so you can see I have also I'm prepared guys and I want you guys to tell me if you like these or not because I love them got my little flapjack for the day cherry and almond flavor I wonder if you guys like flapjacks and then also, I've got this little box here. Now, I was going to use this for the coins, but I've got a feeling that the coins are going to overflow in this. There's going to be too many coins. So what I'm going to use is my little bag, this little bag here, which I normally have other stuff in. So I'm going to use that for the coins, and I'm going to use this probably for my machine keys or something like that. First things first, we're going to get some petrol. I'm in my car because as you know, I'm, I'm having to sell the van because of the ULEZ. Can't drive that van anymore. I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna cost me too much to drive that van. So I'm going to get petrol in my car and then we're off to location number one. Let's go. Got the stickers on now, looking good. Collected the coins. Got the sticker on this one as well. All good. And the coins build up has begun. Let's go to number two. Hey guys, so that's uh, location one done. And just wanted to, to, to tell you guys something quickly. I noticed across the road from that first location there was a new business open, um, a new sort of like a, a job center or a job hub. And obviously, you know, loads of people are gonna be passing through there. So I thought that's a fantastic opportunity. So um, number one, for anyone thinking of getting into the vending machine business, or in fact, any business where you've got to 
find new leads, maybe business to business or something like that. You can't be afraid to go and speak to people. That's how you're gonna make most of your money, by just, be, just going and speaking and asking and trying and, and finding out. So I thought, you know, why not? Let me go and speak to them now that I'm here, you know, no point in wasting time or putting it off till tomorrow. So I walked in there, first thing that happened as soon as I parked in the car park of the business, the security guard uh, walked out to me and said, excuse me, sir, you can't park there. This is for staff only. Now, this is just goes to show you guys, the reason why I want to tell you this story is because you can't let obstacles stop you. You can't let obstacles slow you down. Not even security guards, okay? So I just said to him, oh no, it's not a problem. I won't be long. I'm literally just see here to see the facilities manager regarding uh, vending machines, which I place in the local area. He doesn't have a clue whether I've got a meeting or not. So I get through step one. I get through security barrier number one, the security guard. Next step, I walk into the building and uh, the challenge is now to find the right person to speak to. Because the worst thing you could do is speak to somebody who has no authority or no say whatsoever on a vending machine in the building and they just give you all the wrong information and uh, you waste your time basically. So the security guard, I asked him, you know, who would be in charge of making decisions and he uh, went around with me looking for the right person to speak to. So eventually I landed at uh, this uh, lady, really nice lady's desk, let her know what, I, what my name, introduce myself, introduce Blueprint Vending. And then she says, um, oh, well, I'm not really sure we'd be allowed something like that. Now, this is something that you're probably gonna come up with a lot if you're trying to get into the uh, vending machine industry. People who don't have the responsibility or who don't have the authority to say yes or no, uh, sort of like not wasting your time, but wasting your time okay so what I did was I said okay do you know who might have the authority or who might be responsible for saying yes or no that way I don't have to waste my time not that I said that to her I didn't want to sound rude obviously but I didn't want to waste my time so do you know who I could speak to who might have the authority to say yes to something like this and um, that way I can just you know get send an email over to them or give them a call or whatever it is so eventually she ended up sending, uh, writing down an email address for me. But another guy in the meantime, another guy came over. She mentioned to him that, you know, this young man's uh, from the vending machine company he was wondering if we'd be able to do something like that. And then he uh, said, oh no, I don't think we'd be able to do something like that. So basically my point is guys, that one of your challenges when trying to find new locations is going to be getting past what we call the gatekeeper okay so getting past the gatekeeper when you're trying to find new locations is going to be one of your biggest challenges okay now you just have to learn to be a rejection specialist it doesn't matter if people say no you've just got to go and ask and don't waste time speaking to the wrong person get the information of the relevant person of the decision maker and call that person or email that person and go from there. So don't worry about the gatekeepers. There's always gonna be gatekeepers. They're normally the receptionist. They're normally the, the security guard. They're normally the uh, administrator, whatever they are, they're not the decision maker. You've got to find a way past them to hit your target. Don't be afraid. It happens to all of us. No doesn't mean no. It just means that they possibly need to know a little bit more. So keep pushing. I'll see you again at location number two. Just at location number two now. This machine's been having issues with two pound coins. So I'm just gonna check it. See if it's working. Two pound in. Let's check. Supposed to give me back one pound twenty, it's only giving me back sixty p. So for some reason, the two pound coins are not working.
Do that tomorrow when I come then. Oh. Yeah, Red Bull. That's on my list, man. <laughs> Just getting to the next location now. So this location will be mostly card payments because as you can see it's football pitches here so the likelihood of them carrying coins is very low as you can see got a lot of empty slots which will be filled tomorrow so they're definitely using the card reader rather than putting coins in just at the next location now Two machines in here. So let's get these out. So now guys, I'm done at the last location. Literally just collected the coins from the eighth and ninth machine, as you could see. And if you can hear the beeping, it's because I'm in the car park now and we're all stuck, basically. I don't know how it's happened, but too many cars have come in. They've not let enough cars go out. So now we're stuck. We're gonna have to, some people are gonna have to reverse back out for us to get out but we'll start counting those coins soon see you in a bit all right so we are back let's get counting straight away here's the bag that you saw me collect everything in and let's go
As you guys can see, I've almost covered half of the map. Still a little way to go. Let's get it. All right, so we've done counting. Let's see how much we've got all together. And don't think I'm cheating. These are the coins that I've collected from other times that I had just, you know, spare coins left in the, the money bags. So don't think I'm cheating. I'm not including those coins at all. Literally just the coins that you saw me collect today. Let's get these counted up. I've got my pen and paper here because you know I'll get confused along the way at some point. So I'm gonna be writing, as I go onto a new coin, I'm gonna be writing down how much I've got of that exact coin. All right, so let's start with the pound coins over here. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 230, 240, 250. So we've got 250 in pound coins. Then we've got the two pound coins up here. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we've got 50 pounds in two pound coins. Then these are just random coins that I've stacked up into pound coins in total. So let's start with the pound coins. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we've got 20 pound random coins. Then let's move on to the 50p's. So these are stacked into 10 pounds as well. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 pounds in 50p's. Then let's move on to the random coins that we just had left over. So we had one two pound coin and then we had 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1 pound, 110, 120. So the 5 P's, or 125. So the 5 pence pieces, add that 20 pence there, would be 145, 155, 65, 75, which is 10 P's, so 1 pound 75. Add the 2 pound, would be 3 pound 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So 3 pounds and 85 pence in the smaller random coins. Now what we're going to have to do is add this all up together, and I'm going to use a calculator. Okay, drum roll please. So the total, the grand total, two week collection, coins only, is 363 pounds and 85 pence. 363.85, wow. I have never left the collection, a coin collection for two weeks before and it's really interesting to see what we collected. Don't forget, we've got these other little coins from what we collected before. So we've got five pence over here, 50 pence in this bag. We've got a bag full of 20 pence, two pound coins, pound coins. So I'm gonna add that all up together uh, before I take the, the money to the bank. But just for this two week coin collection, 363 pounds and 85 pence. So don't forget guys, it's only two weeks. It doesn't include the, the online payments in terms of the, the card payments, the contactless payments, Apple Pay and all that sort of stuff. That would be counted up separately. We'll do that in another video and we'll do a whole, whole two week collection for the coins and the contactless payments together. Do you think it's a good collection for the coins? Do you think it's a bad collection? Do you think it's a lot? Do you think it's only a little bit? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Um, you saw we counted up the coins yesterday and uh, today, this morning, we're off to the bank to deposit those coins into the bank and then we're going straight to the wholesalers to buy some more product to start refilling the vending machines and it's going to repeat the same process all over again. And um, today, just so you know, I've got my flapjack again. This one is the white chocolate flavor coated flapjack. I just love flapjacks. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I've got a sweet tooth. Um, I don't eat them every day. I just had one yesterday, as you saw, and I've got one today. And I've got my bottle of water, so I'm ready to go for the day. If you've got a vending machine uh, business or you're just getting started up, let me know what you collect every two weeks in coins or if you've got card readers, let me know down below. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Every time that you hit the like button, it helps the channel to grow. It gets into the YouTube algorithm and then YouTube helps to promote the video out to more people so that the channel can grow. 
And then if you hit the subscribe button, it means you won't miss any videos that we post out. So I'm looking forward to see you again next time. We've got some really, really good, exciting stuff lined up for you guys. And I'll see you then.